Now, word in Hollywood is that the Kardashians may have stolen $600 million from Britney Spears. Get your ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. The Kardashians embody evil while others strive for goodness, and some people are determined to confront them. Kanye West has finally broken his silence on how Kim Kardashian played a role in ruining Britney Spears. Known for his controversial statements, Kanye's words often contain a kernel of truth. Are you curious to hear what he had to say about Kim Kardashian allegedly stealing money from Britney Spears and her connection to Britney? Following Britney Spears' revelation about the truth behind her conservatorship, which involved her own father, Jamie Spears, and then-manager Lou Taylor allegedly mishandling her finances, suspicions arose. People began speculating that Kim Kardashian might have conspired with Lou Taylor to manipulate and steal Britney's money. Britney was placed under conservatorship when it was discovered that she had a mental disorder, which she claims was exacerbated by drugs prescribed to her by her manager and father. She alleges that her father Jamie and Lou Taylor took advantage of her vulnerable state to exploit her financially, while simultaneously labeling her as crazy due to the effects of the drugs that affected her mental well-being. This tumultuous period included incidents such as Britney shaving her head, attacking the paparazzi with an umbrella, and locking herself in a room with one of her children to avoid handing them over to the child's father, among other bizarre occurrences. Fans believe that Lou Taylor orchestrated a plan to steal money from Britney, which is why there are allegations of an unprofessional relationship between Taylor and Jamie Spears, Britney's father. It is speculated that Taylor may have convinced Jamie to participate in the theft from his own daughter. Lou Taylor is known for managing finances for various celebrities, including Jamie Lynn Spears, Steven Tyler, Mary J. Blige, Gwen Stefani, Priyanka Chopra, and Meghan Trainor. So, how does Kim Kardashian fit into all of this? Well, Kim Kardashian, along with her sisters Kylie and Kendall Jenner, has been linked to Taylor TriStar on multiple occasions. Records show that on September 12th, Kim purchased a property in Malibu that was previously owned by Cindy Crawford as is the case with many real estate transactions involving celebrities. The financial transactions typically go through a trust, which is often connected to the celebrity's agent or business manager, and this case is no exception. The trust in question is named Look at Gadry LLC, and it was managed by Mune Stevens, who signed the contract. Interestingly, the same name, Tricester, appears when investigating the trust. If one were to delve deeper, one would discover that Lou M. Taylor is listed as the owner of Kim's Hidden Hills property since September 2021. However, it's worth noting that Kim Kardashian is not the sole individual connected to Taylor. Many other individuals, including the Kardashians, commonly utilize Lou Taylor and TriStar Entertainment Media Group as their business managers. However, rumors have circulated that they severed ties with Taylor and TriStar after it was revealed that they mismanaged Britney Spears' funds. Additionally, it came to light that Lou Taylor herself is associated with Tristar, as Tristar's address is listed as the address for the Kardashian Gender Family Foundation. Furthermore, Tristar's address also appears on the corporate documents of Kim's cosmetic firms, KKW Beauty, KKW Fragrance LLC, and Kim's app are well-known entities. However, it is now widely known that KKW Beauty is no longer active due to the fact that Kim Kardashian West, who was associated with it, has undergone a significant change. In light of the revelations about Britney's conservatorship, it was discovered that Kim and her family maintain contact with Lou Taylor. Kim faced criticism for this association, but that's not the only issue at hand. Despite their previous friendship, Kim made the Britney documentary all about herself, focusing on her own experiences. Following Britney's public disclosure, fans speculated that some of the $600 million increase in Kim's wealth could potentially be linked to funds that were misappropriated from Britney. Amidst Britney's conservatorship, allegations arose claiming that Britney's family was involved in the misappropriation of her funds. According to their own investigations, it is claimed that when Britney's younger sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, was named the trustee of Britney's SJB Trust, suspicious money transfers began occurring. Specifically, it is alleged that Jamie Lynn started moving money within the Stonebridge investment firm. It is worth noting that Britney's former business manager, Lou Taylor, previously held the position of vice president at Stonebridge and had long sought to become the trustee of Britney's accounts. Financial records indicate that some believe Jamie Lynn may have transferred $600 million of Britney's money to Taylor. However, there are also claims suggesting that the $600 million was subsequently moved to a company with the same name in Panama, which is potentially connected to the Panama Papers scandal. While some people believe that the entire family is involved in this situation, 
As it turns out, Lou Taylor manages Kim's finances as well. Fans discovered this information from Kim and Kanye's divorce papers. Moreover, when news broke that Kim had amassed an additional $600 million to her wealth, allegedly through her shapewear brand ventures, Britney's funds offer a different perspective. They claim that this money is actually the same amount that was embezzled from Britney's account. These claims go further to suggest that it's not just Kim who is implicated, but also Kylie Jenner. Recently, Kylie sold half of her makeup company, Kylie Cosmetics, for the same sum of $600 million. Fans of the Free Britney movement seeking to liberate Britney from her conservatorship expressed their suspicions regarding the origins of this money, suggesting that if Lou Taylor needed to hide $600 million, would it be concealed within Kim's estate? If one follows the conspiracy theory, it could be speculated that the money might have traveled from Britney's trust to Stonebridge, then to Panama, before making its way back to the US through Kim's trust and eventually involving Kylie Jenner. The Kardashian family's preoccupation and ongoing feud with Britney have been evident for some time. For instance, there was a notable incident when Britney announced her plans to launch a gender-neutral fragrance, and just two weeks later, Kim released a similar perfume, leading fans to accuse her of competing with Britney. Additionally, Jonathan Chabon, a close friend of Kim Kardashian, revealed that they staged a scenario to make it seem like Kim was hanging out with Britney. They noticed Britney in one of the hotel rooms with paparazzi waiting outside, so they locked themselves in a booth for 10 minutes before emerging in front of the paparazzi to create the impression of a meeting. However, in reality, there was no actual interaction. Upon learning of this, people accused Kim of using Britney for publicity and manipulating the situation to remain in the news. Well, considering Kanye West's connections to both Kim and Lou Taylor, it's possible that he was also being framed by the same individuals who wanted to embezzle his money, making it appear as if he was mentally ill. Remember, Kim's finances are controlled by Taylor, and even though Kanye is independent of them, the fact that Taylor once aimed to depict Kanye as crazy, similar to what was done with Britney Spears, raises suspicions about Kim's potential involvement in Britney's monetary exploitation. In fact, during the divorce proceedings, Kanye did mention these two cases, highlighting their attempts to place him under conservatorship, just like Britney. This is why Kim consistently claimed he was engaging in erratic behavior, with the intention of portraying Kanye as mentally unstable to the authorities, thus enabling them to take control of him while she retains the money. Fans have been vocal about their concerns regarding the Kardashians, particularly Kim and Taylor, suggesting that they played a role in embezzling Kanye's funds. So if you're wondering about the connection between Kim Kardashian and Britney, there you have it. She takes lessons from her. These allegations from fans imply that Kim may have contributed to Britney's downfall, but the truth of the matter is hard to ascertain given the complexity of the situation. Overall, the allegations surrounding Kim Kardashian's potential involvement in the financial exploitation of Britney Spears have generated significant speculation and concern among fans and observers. The intricate web of connections between Kim, her family, and Lou Taylor, Britney's former business manager, continues to raise questions about possible financial improprieties. While these allegations are based on circumstantial evidence and fan theories, they highlight the public's deep mistrust of certain individuals in the entertainment industry. One aspect that fans have scrutinized is the financial transactions and business relationships between Kim Kardashian, her family, and Lou Taylor. The revelation that Kim and her family had maintained contact with Taylor, even after the revelations about Britney's conservatorship, drew criticism from those who believed that Kim should have distanced herself from someone allegedly involved in financial mismanagement. Moreover, the association between Taylor and the Kardashian Gender Family Foundation, as well as various corporate documents, has added to the suspicion surrounding their connection. The timing of certain events has also fueled speculation. For example, when Britney announced her plans to launch a gender-neutral fragrance, it was only a matter of weeks before Kim released a similar perfume, leading some to accuse her of capitalizing on Britney's idea. Additionally, the revelation that Kim staged a scenario to create the appearance of a meeting with Britney solely for the purpose of generating publicity further exacerbated the public's perception of her motives. Kanye West's inclusion in the narrative adds another layer of complexity. Kanye's claims during his divorce proceedings, in which he alleged attempts to place him under conservatorship similar to Britney's, suggested a pattern of behavior aimed at controlling individuals and their finances. Given Kim's association with Lou Taylor and the fact that Taylor had previously sought to depict Kanye as mentally unstable, fans have raised concerns about Kim's potential involvement in the exploitation of both Britney and Kanye. 
It is essential to approach these allegations with caution, as they remain speculative and unverified. While they serve as a reflection of public sentiment and mistrust, the truth of the matter is difficult to ascertain without concrete evidence. The complex nature of the situation necessitates further investigation and scrutiny to determine whether there is any validity to the claims. In conclusion, the connections between Kim, her family, and Lou Taylor, coupled with the timing of certain events and Kanye West's claims, have fueled speculation about potential wrongdoing. However, it is crucial to approach these allegations with skepticism and await further evidence before drawing any definitive conclusions. The complex web of relationships and financial transactions requires thorough investigation to separate fact from fiction. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.